So Vim has a terminal mode that allows you to run an interactive shell within Vim. This is a feature that I have apparently been sleeping on. It's been around since Vim, I believe, 8.2. And I'm only recently finding out about it and realizing some cool ways to integrate it into my workflow. And so I want to take a look at that. Uh, so just for starters, we can run h colon term, and we'll see the help docs for the terminal. If we give it a command, it'll just run that command in a non-interactive shell. But if we just run terminal on its own, it will put us in terminal mode. And from there, we can hit I to bring us into sort of the like insert mode or like interactive mode of terminal mode, as opposed to the default sort of normal mode. And we can use the shell just like we would any other shell. And then when we're done, we can hit this kind of clunky key binding to get back out. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to run term. And this opens up something that looks sort of like a Vim buffer. We've got the line numbers running down the side here and the sort of familiar context of a Vim session. And we've even got our Vim cursor up here. But then we also see uh, what looks like the terminal prompt that, um, at least for my terminal setup, is what I'm used to seeing when I'm interacting with the shell. And so I'm in sort of this terminal normal mode at the moment. And if I hit I, it pops my cursor down onto this line here. And it now says terminal like this because I'm now able to interact with a terminal. So I can do things like ls to look at files. I can do git log to interact with git. Um, I could even do something really wild like running vim inside of terminal mode inside of vim. Um, probably not very practical, but just kind of amused that you can even do that. So I'm going to exit back out of that inner vim. And now I'm still in terminal mode here. And the way I can get out of here is to hit control backslash control n. And that you see the, the little message that it's a terminal went away. And now my cursor is sort of uh, one that I can move around like I would in any sort of vim buffer. Um, I can do things like, you know, go and highlight visual mode, yank, that sort of thing. I, I'm now sort of in this normal mode, but it's it's a restricted normal mode. It's not uh, exactly like a just regular buffer, buffer normal mode. And you can read a little bit more about that in the help docs. But now that I'm sort of out of the insert mode of the terminal, you know, I can do all of these things. I could like change buffers if I wanted, but I, I just want to demonstrate real quick. If I hit I, I'm back in. And then I can just exit this terminal. And now the process is said it's going to exit. I hit enter, and it puts me back into sort of the buffer I was in before I went into terminal mode. So now let me talk a little bit about how I've been integrating terminal, the terminal, into my workflow. So let's say I'm writing this method here uh, called slug, and I want to figure out how to turn the name of a project into a slug. And not totally sure how I want to write that, so I want to sort of play around with it in a REPL. And instead of leaving Vim to do that, I can just run term. I can hit I to jump into terminal insert mode, interactive mode, and then I can run Rails console, just like I might do if I were to leave Vim and, and run it from my regular shell. And so now that I'm in here, I can uh, experiment. So I can say project.first name and now I've got something that I can play with so I can say well let's down case it yeah that looks good and now let's um, join all of the uh, spacing and turn those into underscores oh but that does even no spaces maybe that's not there we go so I'll do it like that and now I've got something to work with so I'm just gonna well, I was about to copy that with, with my cursor like that, um, which is fine. But I can also demonstrate that if I'm to hit the, again, the control backslash control N. Oops, I opened a new tab because I hit uh, the alt key instead of the control. Um, if I hit control backslash control N, then I'm out of uh, insert mode. And I can go over here and I can grab this I can yank it. And then th this is the part I really love, is now I can just treat this as any other buffer. I can uh, use 
the sort of FCF integration that I've set up to navigate around to my different buffers. And so I can go back to the project directory and I can paste that in. I can clear that I can save this. And now if I get to another point in my project where I want to experiment, that uh, Rails console in that uh, interactive terminal is still just sitting there waiting for me. So I can return back to here. I can hit I to jump into insert mode and I am ready to, you know, do, do something else in here. Yeah, so that, that's kind of the main piece I want to cover, but um, also you, you saw me struggle to hit the control backslash control N a couple times. Um, so real quick, I guess I can talk about, um, well, I'll hit it again, control backslash control N, I'm out of there. So now I can do H term and we can see, yeah, this is the way to leave terminal mode. Um, but I think they have a recommendation for us. Hmm. Maybe if I jump to terminal mode, so I'm going to do a, a tag jump here. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I was reading in, in the help docs and I ended up setting up um, a key binding to sort of create a easier way to reach for this particular binding so the the docs somewhere in here when they're talking about terminal mode recommend uh, mapping it to escape. And so I did try that out. So if I say um, MRC, I can jump to, uh, yeah, where is it? Where is escape? Yeah. So I originally mapped it to escape and I ran into some issues where um, other plugins that were using the uh, terminal mode to do things such as um, the, the Vim Fugitive plugin uses terminal mode if I want to do an interactive patch as I'm staging changes. So we're into some issues where if I mapped escape to here, then um, the sort of escape that was exiting out of terminal mode was applying to both, both like escaping the, the inner Vim buffer that is created by Vim Fugitive and its terminal mode at the same time. And it put me into kind of a, a wonky state. So what I'm finding is a better mapping is to say leader escape. So for me, leader's backslash. So if I hit uh, backslash escape, that is you know a mapping that emulates this here. So I don't have to really stretch my fingers to hit the control backslash control N. So if I jump back to this terminal and I hit I to jump into insert mode, blah, 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 I can hit some things. And then when I'm ready to leave, I can just hit uh, leader escape and I'm ready to move on. This terminal mode is a really cool feature of Vim. And if you're in a version of Vim 8.2 or greater, you should definitely check it out, um, see how it can integrate into your workflow, and look at the help docs for more details about how to use it. Um, it's a pretty powerful feature, and I think you'll like it. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to keep putting them out um, and definitely leave any comments or questions you have down below as well. Thanks for watching.